right triangles are our special right triangles. And they are two triangles that have patterns that are consistent just because they're similar triangles. So if you have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, you're always going to have this pattern for the legs and the hypotenuse. So if the legs are both X, they're going to be the same measurement because this is isosceles. You just take the leg times the square root of 2 to find the hypotenuse. So the rule is X, X, X root 2, and this is exactly what you're going to see on a standardized test as far as a formula. Then for your 30, 60, 90, your short leg is opposite the 30 degree angle, and it's just X. So the relationship between the short leg and the long leg is you take the short leg times the square root of 3 to find the long leg. And you take the short leg times 2 to find the hypotenuse. So let's try a couple of those. So here's our first one. This one's a 45, 45, 90. So we know this one's isosceles. So this one's 3. And this one's 3 square root 2. So that's the length of the hypotenuse. And you can pause and try to work these out and then check them. Okay, what happens though if you're given the hypotenuse? Well, remember the hypotenuse is to x square root 2. That's the rule for that one. So let's set our hypotenuse equal to x root 2 and solve for x by dividing by the square root of 2. So we're working backwards. So instead of multiplying, whoops, we are dividing. So what is 8 divided by the square root of 2? That's the answer, but we need to rationalize that. So let's just simplify that by multiplying by radical 2 over radical 2. And that's 8 radical 2 over 2, which reduces to 4 root 2. So the two legs are both 4 times the square root of 2. And that is your 45, 45, 90, working forward by multiplying to get the hypotenuse, or working backwards, dividing to get the leg. Now let's look at our 30, 60, 90s. So on this one, let's first identify which side we're given. Okay, this is a 30 degree angle, so we're given the short leg. So when we're given the short leg, it's pretty easy. We just use our rules. This long leg, we just take and multiply it. I'm sorry, the hypotenuse, you just multiply by 2. So that makes the hypotenuse 8. I would take the short leg, and the rule is I multiply this one by root 3. So it's just 4 root 3. So when you have the short leg, it's very easy. Double for the hypotenuse, multiply by root 3 for the long leg. Now, what happens if we have to work backwards? That one's a little bit trickier. This one is one where we're given a long leg because we know this one's 60, and so the 60 is opposite the long leg. Well, what's the rule? The long leg is equal to x times the square root of 3. So let's divide by the square root of 3 to work backwards to find the shorter leg because you want to divide to make it smaller. So what is 12 divided by the square root of 3 rationalized? Okay, let's just simplify that by multiplying by the radical, which is root 3, and we get 12 root 3 all over 3, which is just 4 root 3. And that is the length of the shorter leg. Now, 